All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's BMP here. Welcome back to a little more of a new dawn. Your boy Mason Harrow is looking baller as fuck right now. Like, seriously, this armor looks so good. Uh, but even more importantly, as you guys can hopefully tell from the audio, uh, your boy finally got a new mic. Um, so I'd like to thank you guys for uh, toughing it out over the last two weeks or so. Uh, when my old mic broke, we were kind of working with my headset, uh, and I know, especially some of the more recent episodes, man, the quality, the audio audio quality was just absolute trash. So, thank you guys for pushing through with that. Um, I'm still kind of experimenting around with the different settings on this mic and seeing, like, what's best for recording, like, how far away I should have it uh, right now. I'm currently uh, nibbling on it right now, just a little, you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have it really close to my mouth, because from what I've seen so far, this is the best quality. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to figure out the best settings, uh, shortly here. But for right now, I needed to get some episodes out for you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, so we're just rolling with it. So, uh, currently we are running around, uh, trying to buy up land in every town that we can before we really start to rebel. Um, this time we found a knight errant in the, uh, tavern. In fact, 15 knights of Ed. So nine grand. They're not cheap. No one ever said they were cheap. But goddamn, they're loyal sons of bitches. And I will recruit every Knight of Ed that I find. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of buddy, buddy buddying with the uh, townsfolk of Nara. And we will go ahead and buy some land here as well. Looks like the guy's right up there. So, uh, I don't think we're going to be starting our own faction. Not today. Maybe not even next episode. Um, I really want to focus on getting as much money as possible. Um, and building up the best army uh, that we can. We might, so while we're not going to join the faction directly, what I think we might do is, um, I think we might become mercenaries. Holy shit, 3,700 a week. It's fucking insanity. <laughs> uh, and anyways, just become mercenaries for a little while. That way, while we're building up our army, the kingdom that we are fighting for will be paying our wages because, the, let me tell you, the wages are already getting expensive, all right? Yeah, check out this. 14 grand a week to pay for these boys. It's not cheap. It's not cheap having a good-ass arm. Um, so, by becoming a mercenary, the kingdom will foot the bill for our army. Meanwhile, we will still get all the all the profits from the different uh, die works and whatnot that we own. So it's a bit of a win-win. Um, and I'll, I'll be honest, just having die works in every town is not going to be enough for us this series. We need to be buying acres of farmland. So, we, we've we got a little, we have 50 so far, 50 acres, that's not enough. We need like 50 acres in every town. Then we might be all right. Um, then we might be all right for the, for, you know, the, the long term, the end game. Um, as of right now, we, you know, we're starting to stack a, a decent amount of cash. You know, Suno, wow. No, 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 Veluca. Veluca we've had, wow, the 10 acres in Veluca make twice as much as the 20 acres do. In Uxal. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But anyways, while we're while we're traveling around these lands, we might as well, you know, do a little more fighting. Even though I don't think we can really level up most of these troops. A few of them we can. The Thane goes into a Bloodlord. Oh, baby. Yeah, we're trying to get our hands on Bloodlords. Would not would not mind that. Oh my Christ. What? Nasuge Noyan's deserters. Four hundred and seven of them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, we're not going to engage that. I mean, they don't look like they're incredibly elite, so maybe we could beat them, but uh, I'm not trying to test that out. Ooh, here are those uh, coal car guys that we were talking about last episode. Definitely want to get some of them. Hmm. We could try knocking them unconscious with our mace. Um. Hmm. And recruiting them from our prisoner pool? Could try that. There's definitely not too many of them. Nah, they're running away from us, and they're faster than us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're a little bit faster than us. Okay. Well, hey, we're going to have time. Uh, when those guys inevitably, inevitably get taken out by someone, we should be able to come in and rescue them. Uh, but we definitely want to get some of those guys. And honestly, we don't need them right now, necessarily. We want them once we start taking castles, because we want those guys to be defending our walls. 100%. Right, let's see if we can uh, shield main. Nah. Artemanor, honestly, we don't we don't even really need Artemanor in this series. 
Now we got to wait a little bit longer before we can uh, grease the wheels a little bit. Uh, it's weird how that has a has a cooldown. Like I understand if you could only do it like once per night, or like maybe even like once per week per town. Uh, but I don't know. I don't understand why you shouldn't be able to do it in, uh, every time you see. Anyways, anyways, let's see if we can't find a little bit of action for your boy. I know last episode we didn't really we didn't do a whole ton of fighting. Um, that was not my intention, so I'm gonna try to make up for this episode with a lot of fights. So I'll be back in a sec once I found some worthy opponents. All right, here we go. We found 72 Dune trackers that deserted. I don't know how good these guys are. I couldn't find them in the Kurgit troop tree, so they're someone else. Honestly, I'm, hmm, they're actually looking like they might be uh, Serenid, but they don't look that strong. So we are going to just go ahead and wipe them out. I mean, we outnumber them, and I'm sure we have better troops. I would, God, I would sure hope so. <laughs> I would really hope so. Uh, but anyway, so guys, um, I know I mentioned it a little bit last episode, but thank you guys once, and now that I have a, you know, a better mic to be doing it, doing it on, thank you guys so much for uh, helping me hit 12k subs. Um, like I said, it, for a channel like mine, you know, you guys, some of you guys have been with me for the, you know, four or five years that I've been doing this. Um, I... This kind of growth is, is still feels insane to me. Uh, I never, never have gotten this before, um, and I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can keep it going. All right, I'm hoping we can keep it going. I can keep on uh, making series that you guys are really excited for. Um, and uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to entertain you guys. You know, I'm just trying to entertain you guys. I do have some bad news. Um, so unfortunately. Uh, Jessica will no longer be uh, playing in our D&D campaign, it, it seems. Uh, it's like high probability that she won't be able to play anymore. Um, and also, since we are home for the summer, that is a bit of a problem because all of our guys are uh, in, in, all across the state of Michigan pretty much right now. Um, Austin and Anthony are still staying in our apartment back at Grand Valley. Um, Sean and I uh, went back home what was it two days ago? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't even think. No, yesterday. Yeah, we went back. We came back yesterday, late yesterday. Um, so, unfortunately, we're all in different places. So that's going to be a little hard to work out. Um, we are doing a new D and D campaign. Not not one that I'm going to record. This is just one that we're doing for fun. Um, but that's going to be over. Uh, we're going to use like Discord and Skype. So we're going to be doing that online. Um, obviously, that isn't conducive to being able to record. Also, since I lost my phone, uh, if you guys. <laughs> You guys remember uh, me breaking my phone um, I'm not gonna be able to record on that anymore so until I get a new phone I do plan on getting a new phone pretty soon um, my old 5s is there's a reason why I got a new phone uh, it really it holds a charge for maybe an hour um, maybe an hour <laughs> so it's really really annoying and obviously it doesn't have as good of a camera and all that as the uh, the 6s does um, so I do plan on getting a new 6s I'm picking up a whole bunch of shifts um, I was originally planning on not working in the beginning of summer and just studying for the MCAT. But it looks like I'm going to be doing both. <laughs> I'm going to be working full time, maybe even some overtime, and studying for the MCAT. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I should be fine. I should be fine. Um, the, from what I saw, a new success will run me like about 400 bucks. So that's not horrendous. That's not horrendous. It's not cheap. Not horrendous, though. I can afford that. Um, well, I, I will be able to afford that in like a week or two, hopefully. Uh, God damn it, we still have to wait a little bit longer. I'm just trying to get some dubs, baby. Trying to get some money. Trying to win some fights. Is that, is that too much to ask? Um, are these black targets against me? Are they enemies? I feel like they're normally enemies, but... And they're currently attacking everyone and anyone they see. There's a, a black target layer. So I feel like we shouldn't engage with them. Yeah, so let's just let's just head up north. Let's head up north, see if we can find some sea raiders, some tundra bandits, uh, to fight with. We already sold off all that loot from the last battle, right? Oh, that one. Exquisite dried meat. Holy shit, worth 1k. Hold up, we're selling that off. I don't love my troops that much. I guess maybe, you know what, fuck it. We'll let the Knights of Ed share that. I'm down with letting the Knights of Ed share that. They will berserkers. What the hell? I'm not at war with, like, any of these guys because all of these... All these minor factions that have these bandits have become a faction and made peace with us and then subsequently got eliminated. At least most of them did. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, why, hello there. 60 blunt damage. That's pretty nice. 
125 reach, also pretty good. Speed rating, a little slow. It's a little slow. Bonus against shields, though. That's nice. Oh, we're still trying to get the blood axe, though, right? Blood drinker's axe? That's what we want. Mmm. But I'm tempted. I'm tempted to pick that up. That's a very, very nice weapon right there. That'll, that'll put in work. That'll put in work. Uh, let's see. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want none of you scrubs. Uh, let's actually see if we... Is that music? I turned up the sound in-game. Because you guys have been saying that it's been a little quiet in the most recent episodes. Oh, huh, it went away. Interesting. Oh, no, there it is again. Who's doing that, huh? Every time I turn my back? You trying to mock me? Oh, no, it's just this chick right here. Oh, okay. Cool. Good for you. All right, let's go ahead and, and make some more monies. Make some more monies. Prince Merriga doesn't like me? Well, let me just let me just have a word with this Prince Merriga. See in here? Saying that like America. America. Fuck yeah. Where's this dude at? I wonder if he has a princess or something in here that we can ask. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. I mean, I don't know if... Hmm. It's at Revedin. Oh, I think I did see that there's a tournament going on there. Okay, we'll head over there then. As much as, you know, Mason does not want to make peace with any of these nobles. He doesn't want to please them. He knows he doesn't want to help them at all. But he knows he needs these die works. He needs them. Um, he needs the money. So if he has to pretend a little bit, then so be it. Oh my god, this dude only has 40 troops in his army. What a fucking scrub. I like how he's like, and he's like building his new army in someone else's city. This isn't even his city. Uh-huh. All right, you have any tasks for me? Jesus Christ, what do you need? Six Imperial... Fuck out of here. I don't like you. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna have fighting words. We're gonna have problems, sir. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I guess we won't get one. We'll have to... We'll have to conquer Kudan for ourselves, huh? Right, let's head up here. Ooh, Rivacek is under siege. Also, we should be able to find some bandits of some kind over here. Yeah, it's actually... It's a little annoying that we're, you know, not at... Not at war with any of them. Like, they're just cool with us now. I don't know. I, I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Ooh, hello. What was that? Was that, was that was Outlaw Mercenary Bank? Oh, interesting. We have received an offer of vassalage. So, Emperor Yaroglek of the Vega Empire has sent a royal herald to bring you an invitation to become his own er, an invitation in his own hand. You would be granted the honor of becoming a vassal lord of the Vega Empire, and in return, Emperor Yarglak asks you to swear an oath of homage to him, fight in his military campaigns, offer to be the fief of Karindi for your loyal service. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good. Man, they're they're already hearing about us. And we're not even Ma we're not even Mason right now. We're we're Hasten Marrow. It's interesting how quick our reputation builds. They heard of our uh, our exploits in the Rodok army. Fastest ever to uh, get up to the rank of champion. Right, I'm not trying to fight these guys at the turn. So, good. So long, please. The fuck? Did these guys just turn to Rodoks? What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? Am I, am I tripping right now? How did those guys just go? I'm so confused. What? <laughs> I swore those guys were not Rodox when we were chasing them. Did I just not notice in the nighttime? There's no way. Oops. There's no way. Oh, here we go. Renegades. Here we go. These guys, you're not going to join back up. You're not going to switch me. Ten. It's fuck off, man. I need. Boy. I need a challenge, okay? I need a motherfucking challenge. Maybe we should, whoever's, we should see if anyone's at war with the Nords right now. And then we could fight against the Nords. Ooh, hello. Hello. Let's go ahead and actually, uh, start Lance. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Glad we stopped in this, this tavern. In this fine establishment. How many juggernauts? Oh, baby, 10. 
10 juggernauts for 11 grand. That's a steal and a half. Oh my god. Welcome. Welcome back, lads. Welcome back. They're going to be expensive. No lie. They're going to be expensive. We're, we're burning through a lot of cash right now. I know. I know. But believe me, guys, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. And at this point, we can always ditch the army if we have to. I, mean, I wouldn't enjoy it. I would hate it. All right, no, fuck off. I'm trying to... Sergi. Sergi, my man. How much would a die works make? Oh, 3,800? Cool. Cool. Take my money. Take my money. All right, baby. We got... Oh, my God. We got juggernauts again. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Hell, oh, we're running low on food. All right. Renegades, I'm going to be back for you guys in a sec. There we go. That's the food we were needing. All right, where'd they go? Huh? Bring that ass back here, Renegades. I know you didn't get too far. Shit, did I actually lose them? Oh, those little shits. Ooh, who's this? Mm -hmm. More people that we're not at war with. Whoa. Oh, the Valiant Republic just took their first castle. Good for them. What'd they take? Kern Castle? And not even a town. What scrubs? What are these guys? Bogatiers. Ooh. Are they faster than me too? No, they're not. Oh yeah, there's only 13. Yeah, so they probably are. You little shits, get back here. Yeah, they're way faster than us. Pretty sure. I mean, we, we can keep trying to chase them. But I don't think it's gonna work out in our favor. Who's this? Who are these guys fighting? Let's uh, let's check out. Who's at war with the Nords? The Highlanders. Interesting. The Balian Republic. That could be fun. We could join the Balians for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not? They can pay our pay our wages. We can defend their their castles, kill some Nords, and get some get some loot. Trying to get a Blood Drinker's axe. Is that too much to ask? The Golkar Clan is in. Oh. Some their units, but I uh, nah, 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 nah. We want we want the axe first. We want the axe first. Oh, is it those same renegades? Hold up, where they go? Where they go? Get back here. Uh, oh no. Oh, those are the that was that group of ten we saw before. So turn castles. So it's over here. Ooh, they're, not, hmm, they're not in a good situation. Doesn't look good at least. Oh, the stupid die works at Revenant is uh. Keeping it instead of selling it. All right, hold up. Let's go. Let's go do that quick, quick sprint over here. That costs us a lot of. Stuff. Who's this? What? Twenty-seven bogatiers. Is this the? Are those? These are the same bogatiers we were just chasing before that were running away from us. Why do they think they can? They can fight us now. That's confusing. Do you not enjoy living? Get out of here. And no one's lance longer than mine. Not in this land of Calradia. I don't think so. Oh, Jesus. The horse just... Just almost one-shots most of them. Oh, my God. Just running over the peasant women. Get back here, boy. Get back here, boy. Yeah, this is a pretty nice army now. This is a pretty good army. Woo! And the juggernauts just sealed the deal. The juggernauts just fucking sealed the deal. Seriously, uh, I, hmm. unless we end up going against several lords at once, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. I don't see who could really take us on. Like, maybe a king. A king might be able to take us out right now. Or a lord with, like, 300 plus, but, mm -mm. Other than that, we are pretty goddamn good. One episode. One episode is all it took. We decided to start making an army, and an episode later, we got one of the best armies in Galradia. Feels, feels so good to be great, doesn't it, guys? Feels so good to be the unstoppable Case and Mero. Uh, do we even care about these guys that much? Fuck, whatever. We'll take our loot. <laughs> our shitty little loot. Uh, yeah, so grab it in. Do. Hey, motherfucker. You know when I said I was going to give you 10 grand to make and then sell Velvet? Yeah, how about you do that? 
How about you fucking do that? God damn it. Okay. Should I... Do I need to take these out and sell it myself? I might have to now. I don't know if they do it themselves. We'll see. Whatever. We'll leave it in there. Because I know they'll sell it for a whole hell of a lot more than we'll sell it for. Son of a bitch. Alright. We're good. We're good. Let's go see if we can talk to some Valiant dudes. Nothing important happened there. Yeah, these poor, poor Nords. They, they still have tier, right? Okay, so they still have one. What's going on here? The Sun Crusaders have... Sun Crusaders have... Is that what that trumpet was for? I don't know why that... Oh, wow, these guys don't like us? Okay, apparently we're at war with the Valiant Slavers. Oh. This guy. Only 41 troops left. Could fuck him up. He's even got five of those 41 are crazed berserkers. Yes. The crazed berserkers that have the blood drinkers axes that we need. Mm. It's tempting. It, it really is tempting. I think we're going to show a little bit of self-restraint here. See if we can find any just laying around. So, mm. um, so that dude would clearly get super pissed off if we did that. We would be at war with the Nords are getting fucked up. Oh my god, they just lost tier? They seriously just lost tier? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, look at all these Valiant Lords. Hold up. I'm trying to fuck with you. God damn it, how do I make peace with these dudes? Oh shit, High Admiral with 1300. Okay, that's how they're destroying the Nords right now. Oh wow, they, those poor guys they didn't stand a chance. There we go, okay, 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 okay. okay. Whoop. Okay, five grand. That's not too much to us. No longer at war with the Valiant Republic. Okay, cool. Because they're pretty powerful. They're pretty powerful. Um, I... Yes, I will join the Valiant Republic. Okay. So they just gave us 20 grand for that. Alright. Awesome. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. The Rodox just decreased to zero. That's unfortunate. Okay. So now, we can freely attack the Nords. We can freely destroy some little Nordic bastards. Uh, where's that guy I saw, saw over here? And we can raid. Oh my god, I forgot about that. We could be raiding. Oh, look at this dude. Look at this dude. 80 troops? None of them are good. Not a damn one of them are good. Oh no. Baby, what are, what are you doing? Are you, is he faster than me? You son of a bitch, you are faster than me. I'll be back for you later, motherfuckers. I'll be back for you later. Why why are we so slow? Do we not have seven plus two pathfinder? We should be reasonably fast. Ooh, oh my god, is that what? This is just a regular ass Yarl? With that many troops? 321 prisoners. Most of them are Yumnans. Oh, he must have taken out a pretty big Yumnan army. And probably recruited a bunch of guys in return. Hmm. Okay, see now that's an example of a guy I don't think we could fight. Look at this. Oh. Ooh. Hello, caravan. Hello. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Get that ass over here, boy. You guys some of you guys who didn't see the first series, or, or maybe it's been a while. You might have forgotten. Mason. He's not a good guy. He is a cruel, evil person. And when he is in the rice, when he is <laughs> allowed to raid and kill with no repercussions, oh, you better believe he's going to. He does it for fun, man. We don't need, we're not even going to gain that much out of this. We're not really needing to level up our troops. These guys aren't going to drop that much loot. He's doing this because he enjoys it. He enjoys it. The weaklings deserve it in his eyes. Alright, here we go. 
let's see how many peasants we can stack up on this lance, huh? Making an actual shish kebab. <sighs> Boom. Good god, these they didn't stand a chance. It's pathetic. Boys out here looking like Thanos, man. Just stomping fools. Don't stand a chance. I'ma need 50% of you to die so that the rest of you can have a better life. <laughs> yeah, that's actually no. He actually is not like Thanos. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't care about 50% of having a better life. He just cares about himself having power. That's pretty much it. Let's see if we can hunt this person down. Alright, unfortunately with our new tanky horse, we are a little bit slower. We don't have quite as high riding as we used to. Especially with the champion armor. What is our riding now? Oh god, it got down created to a four. Yeah, that took a big hit. Alright, GG boys. GG boys. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's how we like our conquest. Kinda of curious to see is, is how much are they gonna be paying us every week now? I imagine quite, uh, quite a decent amount. I don't know if they're going to pay for all of our weight. Probably not. But I wouldn't be surprised if out of the 20... Gee, 20 grand. Holy shit, man. Why is it so high? Did we get more troops? Did we pick up more troops when I wasn't paying attention? Oh, I was 15 grand and then we got the juggernauts. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so out of that 20 grand, I wouldn't be surprised if they paid us, you know, seven, eight, maybe even like 10,000. Which, that's a decent amount. That's a decent amount. I can pay for the rest. That's fine. Right, let's go ahead and sell this off in tier. Uh, go ahead and... Did we check? Did we check the... Let's see. Yeah, I know. No axes that we want. Let's go hunting. Let's hunt for a, a Nordic vassal, and then we can go ahead and end the episode off here. I feel like the episode's gone on for a little while now, so I think it's a pretty good time to, uh... Any crazed berserkers? No. I think it wouldn't be a, a bad time to go ahead and end it off reasonably soon here. Ooh. Mm. 300? That's quite a few of them. But we do have 90 now. Do have some crazed berserkers. I'm not seeing any... Any blood lords or anything like that, but they do have some of the second to best tier. What's this? Who's this at? Where's this guy? That's over here. Okay. Alright, we'll head over there. We'll meet up with him. I'm sure he's going to be getting into some combats. What's this? Oh, Jesus, what? Poor shit. I was not paying attention at all. That's on me. All right, boys, charge in. Let's see how good this army really is, huh? We've been talking a big game. But can we walk it like we talk it? All right? That's what I'm trying to find out. Let's do this. Oh, my God. They have men with glowing armor. How can we possibly combat such, such dangerous individuals? Yeah, these guys are tough. Shit. Uh, we, oh, my God. That's a blood lord. That's a blood lord. All right, um, we need to be careful. We are not going to want to fight these guys in this battle all the way out. We're going to try to kill 30 or so of them and then get the fuck out of here. Because otherwise, these guys can and will destroy us. The Nord Infantry Clump is a scary thing to behold with their Berserkers. Um, seem to be doing a decent job so far. Just lost the Night of Ed, unfortunately. Turn around. Jesus, man, I got so many troops over here. Knights that are trying. Oh, hello. Thank you out. Or knocked one unconscious, whatever. That works. I mean, we don't really care about killing them right now since we're not gonna we're not gonna fight this all the way through. We don't have the numbers. Yeah, these are the crazed berserkers. Luckily, they don't wear armor, so they're not they're not too bad to take out. Alright, I think we've killed enough, right? 27 out of 400. That yeah, might be enough. So let's wait for a couple more to go down. Then we'll get out of here. Follow me. No, everyone, everyone keep on charging. I'll take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Ooh, Bloodlord just killed a knight of uh, Ed. That's unfortunate. Alright, that should be good. Let's go. Lost one more. That's not bad. So we lost nine people. 
killed 34 of them. Let's get out of here. And uh, relook at what, oh my god, what were we walking into here? Yeah, it's mainly this guy, Hertogi Iria, that had the most troops. Oh my god, we're at war with Swade too right now. What? Run back, run back, run back, run back. Who's this guy? I wouldn't mind catching one of them by themselves real quick. Hello? Where, where is he at? Ooh, two, okay. Yeah, 270 is a bit much. I can take on that one, that guy with 140. I can take him on by ourselves. We can do that. Oh, wow, they're fucking up those traders right now. Where'd that guy with 140 go? Shit. Spread the needle, spread the needle, please. Here we go. Let's go after him now. Oh, fuck. Two more troops here. What's this? Thor? Thor or White? Four hundred eighteen against a bunch of yumpins. I don't know if I like her odds against that, to be honest. I really don't. Yeah, no, nah, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna get in on that. Um, they should actually weaken some of them up a little bit, though they outnumber them pretty heavily. So maybe we can catch... So there's a a, a lord with 70 troops and one with, like, 140. Although they're going to be weaker at, by the end of this. Um, Jesus Christ. All right, I wasn't signing up for this, huh? Luckily, we only have a month of this. We're not an actual vassal, so it's not a huge deal to us. Okay. Are they done? Not quite. Ooh! Ooh! Hello! <laughs> uh... How you doing, y'all? Y'all Dirigan. Dirigan. Let's, uh, let's fight. Last time you ran for me like a whipped dog? Hmm. Well, last time you outnumbered me massively. Now, it's a little bit closer, mate. And I think you're gonna regret what you just did. Let's go in, boys. Let's show this Nordic bitch ass how, how real men fight. Get the fuck out of here. That's how we start a battle. Twilight, Lance, to the face. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here we go. Yeah, oh, we got the Juggernauts coming in. Yeah. Yeah, baby. They got their little infantry clump here. It's looking it's looking nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Props to them. It's looking pretty good. But uh now we've surrounded them. Looking like some uh Battle of the Bastards shit from uh, Game of Thrones. So happy I finally finished that series, man. That was that was so much so so much content. To watch in such short time but it was so good so good i can't wait for uh the last season now season eight i can't believe there's only gonna be six episodes but i i'd expect that those each episode is gonna be like a movie length because these ones the, the ones from season seven were like an hour plus long each and there's even fewer episodes in season eight and they have to wrap up the whole series so yeah i'm suspecting that we're gonna have some pretty lengthy episodes I am okay with it. <laughs> I am okay. Don't kill him. Damn it. I wanted him. Wow, we just cleaned these fuckers up. Oh, look at the Deerum Pike. Damn, man. Compensating for some of the shit. <laughs> Those spears are long as hell. Alright. That's the first Lord of Many to fall. The first Lord of Many. We only lost one Valkyrie. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we dick on people. Uh, Alright. Unfortunately, no axe, but there's only one crazy berserker, so... That's not too surprising. Would have been pretty lucky to uh, get that. Can we... Unfortunately, this is not one of the mods where auto equipped your heroes. Although, I don't... We haven't got any heroes yet. I'm not sure if I even want any heroes in this. I don't think any of them are nearly as powerful as uh, the troops in it. And uh, I feel like it'd just be more uh, more work than it's really worth. All right, guys. Well, we are going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. We are, as I mentioned last episode, we are going to be starting a uh, new series next weekend. Next Friday, I plan on starting it. Um, and that is going to be on Star Wars Conquest. I know. We haven't played it before. Or at least I haven't. Uh, but I'm hyped to try it out. So, as always, take it easy, guys.